Hello everybody, I'm just returning with an update in regard to my vitamin D deficiency as well as my anxiety. Um, I know I posted about four months ago, so this is four months later. Just giving you a little update of how things are going. Um, I can say that in May I had stopped taking the vitamin D um, because I thought that, you know, it was sunny, it was summertime, that I would consume most of my vitamin D through being out in the sun. So I stopped taking it for about two months and then I got rechecked again um, because I just wanted to see where my levels were at. They actually decreased um, three points. It was at a 21, it went down to 19. Um, so I had to start back the vitamin D again, 50,000 IUDs. And for those of you who think that you can consume it through the sunlight, not the case. So I started back taking the pills and along with the pills, I've also, um, incorporated a what a multivitamin um, still do magnesium and then I also try to get out and um, be as active as I can throughout the day um, just so that my bones and stuff won't uh, stiff up on me because with the vitamin D deficiency I also have fibromyalgia which causes me to have pain throughout my entire body no matter what I do and you know that is super frustrating because I can do something simple like carry clothes, carry a bag, um, and then later on at night, it'll feel like my entire body is on fire. Um, all of my bones and limbs are hurting. Um, you know, it's just an excruciating pain that even ibuprofen doesn't take away. Um, so with that, I have been, um, I've actually started taking turmeric and ginger tea to take away any inflammation that's inside of my body. I did a bowel purge because with fibromyalgia, I know it slows down the, digest the digestive system and makes it slower and locks up on you. So I um, incorporate a lot of uh, fiber in my diet as well as um, just trying to drink uh, teas that are anti-inflammatory to help with inflammation as well. Um, so I've been dealing with that a little bit. Um, the anxiety part of it, I've been prescribed Lexapro for anxiety, um, 10 milligrams, as well as um, a sleeping aid, which I don't have any trouble sleeping anymore. I sleep perfectly fine, so I don't really take that. But um, with my anxiety, I just, I try to do all natural things. So I try to exercise. I try to watch what I eat. I try to stay away from caffeine because I know that triggers it. I try to um, go places where I normally um, you know, anxiety where it normally uh, kicks in. If I go to certain places, I try to go anyway um, to kind of get my mindset out of being scared of these places. I try to go and face my fears. Sometimes it works, sometimes I do it doesn't. Um, I really don't like going to Walmart, to any big stores like that. I don't, um, a place where there's a lot of people and there's not really a place for me to escape or run or get away from really quickly, I avoid that too. Um, still a little struggle, like I say, with big stores. Um, I can manage smaller stores, but the big ones is still an issue for me. Um, even working is still an issue for me. I'm, you know, trying, but it, it is very hard. So I'm just trying out different things um, to see what works for me. I'm not really a big fan of taking pills every day. Um, so I try to do anything, you know, all natural as possible. So I do, like I say, drink teas, exercise, try to change my diet and um, incorporate, I guess, different habits throughout my day. I try to see what triggers it and then avoid it. So I don't do caffeine, caffeinated drinks or anything like that. Yep.